track round in atmosphere. One way to get their attention. Hang on to your teeth, people. So recently I've been playing a lot of vehicles that aren't very good, and I realize that it's making my commentary a bit grumpy. So we're going to try to have as much fun as possible today, and we'll be doing that by playing the Object 120. It is a Russian tank with a very, very high velocity gun, and it gets APFSDS 7.3. But we're not going to be using the Sabo, because not only is it a very long gun, it's also pretty wide in diameter. It gets a pretty big high explosive round, and I think it's probably the most fun you can have with the vehicle. So let's take it out, and hopefully this doesn't turn into another video where I just get extremely frustrated. Well, we are certainly not the fastest vehicle out there, but we do hit pretty hard. Contemptible rat. Oh, I already see something. I think that's an Ontos or a Locust. What? That missed? <laughs> what? What is that? Yeah, it was a Locust. Okay. Hordes of rats burst asunder from the realm of the rats. Oh, there's another one. No, it's okay. You should uh, expose yourself again. Go on. Oh, what is that? Ah, T32. I really don't know where I should shoot that to kill it. Presumably it has the same uh, weak spot. Ooh, that works. I was going to say, presumably it has the same weak spot as the Pershing, where you shoot, like, the bottom bit of the mantlet, or the turret, to overpressure the whole roof, but... Uh, you know, that works too. Oh, I should not be here. Never mind, he is a fool. Poor T25, man. I recorded a video on that earlier, and it is so sad. We're doing pretty alright so far, though. Even though it's uh, a very close quarters map, hopefully my mic sounds a bit better. Uh, I got a combination headset and microphone from Audio Technica so I can like work on my laptop. But in testing, I found that it sounded pretty much identical to my like podcasting microphone and audiophile headphones. So I'm just gonna use this. I think from now on. Uh, my main goal is to. Hello. <laughs> Dude, I love... Uh, okay. Let's see, I love high explosive. I don't love cast, though. I don't know if I've uh, mentioned that before. Very cool. But yeah, I think this will end up sounding a bit better than my... Uh... What the hell? <laughs> that was a perfectly placed shot. Uh, anyway, I think this will sound a bit better than my usual microphone because I have to mount it in a weird spot, but with this it's always constantly next to my mouth. So, when I move my head it's not like changing the audio profile or anything. I don't understand how a $200 combination headset and microphone can sound as good as a microphone that costs $200 in of itself. Oh my god, really? Okay, I guess I'm gonna sit in the building for the entire match, if this is how it's gonna go. Oh, hold on. Is there a bad guy in there? Okay, I see an antenna, but I don't know if it belongs to anything that's alive or not. Let's try to splash it again. Okay, yeah, it's definitely still alive. Whatever it is. Okay, hold on. 152 high explosive exploding that close to a scorpion didn't kill it. <laughs> okay, well, he's dead now. <laughs> Six kills, not bad, not bad. Would I have more kills if I was using Heat or Sabo? Probably. But those are considerably less funny, so. But yeah, I think that Sky Raider is a pretty good example of why I think Cass is so dumb. I had no way to fight back against it. I don't even have a coax. And I was in a good position. Not an overpowered one, but I had, I had that area locked down pretty well. And he could just entirely negate it with however many kills he had. I think it was probably a pretty low number. Ironically, I think that uh, getting down tiers kind of works against us in a way. We fight a lot more heavily armored vehicles. Hopefully I don't get shot going this way. Okay, I think we're good. 
A few moments later. What just hit me? Oh! <laughs> How did we do that? <laughs> what the hell? Is that allowed? I think that's definitely a guy. Hey, yep. Probably the guy that tried to shoot us earlier. I imagine. I... Oh, dude, I cannot get over that martyr. That was some, like, Matrix shit. Did we even hit the martyr directly? You ever get the feeling something really bad is about to happen? Of course, another plane. <laughs> Why not, right? <laughs> I guess I'll go over here. How far away are you, Mr. Super Sherman? 750. Should poke your head out again. Oh, there you are. Um. Bah. <laughs> that Magok is still alive. Which could present a bit of a problem. I think he has ERA. It's Blazer, but it'll still really affect our high explosive. Darn. You know, it's not as powerful as an SPH or band cannon, but I do like that the rounds are pretty high velocity. It's almost one kilometer per second, I think. Yeah. Oh. Hang on just a second. Hi. Goodbye. <laughs> that is so satisfying. Did they get the Magok that was down there? I wasn't paying attention. I think... Okay. I think with this video, I'm going to start tallying how often I die to planes versus how often I die to tanks. Like, not per video, continuously. Is that... That is a guy. He's just, like, right next to his corpse. That was not very smart of you. I don't know why you'd go back to the exact same place you died. Hold on just a minute. Can I see the objective from here? Might need to go up on the rocks, which is a very risky proposition. But match is almost over. Why not? Hold on, how far away is that? Like, <laughs> there we go. Finally got that Magok. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, that's good. We're fighting all of the nations with very light vehicles in this BR range. I just hope I don't get sniped moving into position. That would be very unfortunate. Suboptimal, you could say. Oh boy. An STRV-103. Actually, I wonder if we can hit him from over here. Let's send it. That was very unfortunate. That was like the worst place we could have hit him. There we go. That isn't too shabby. Oh wait, he can still move, can he? There we go. Ooh, right on its roof too. I think that qualifies for crump of the week. Uh, this might not be the best place for us. We don't have a ton of gun depression. And I see no other targets. How far away is that? Please don't range the cactus. I think it ranged the cactus. Oh, no. No, stop moving, please. Um. Yes! <laughs> oh, it's so satisfying to do that to 251s. I hate them so much. <laughs> Okay, that, uh, road wheel is now in orbit. Hold on there. He came back for seconds. Show him the error of his ways. Okay, he, uh, still killed my friend. How is he still able to adjust when I took out both his transmission and his engine? I really hope he doesn't come back in a plane for me bullying him. Oh, there's Narado. Someone's gonna come back. Yep, he's making a beeline straight for me as well. K-1 
Can you believe it? I'm I'm just shocked, frankly. I like that I developed a sixth sense for when I'm gonna get bombed as well. It just happens so often. Oh well, at least we didn't die. I took a sip from my water bottle and water got in my eye. How did that even happen? Well, my eye is uh, very hydrated now, so that's good. Maybe I picked it up too quickly and it like splashed forward. I don't know. All right, I'm gonna be quite honest. I have no idea what a femboy is. Oh, there is a light tank already in our spawn, practically. Very cool. How did a T-92 get over there so quickly? The T-92 is not that fast. I have not seen a single soul this entire time. Maybe I'll try pushing up and see how that goes. Yeah, not a big fan of this terrain currently. Hold up. Uh... Huh? Okay. Very good. I thought it was a T-32 for a second. Ooh, it is not liking this hill. <laughs> no, sir. Let me guess, that uh, M46 that we killed is gonna try and come back? Yep, there he is. I can't believe it. I wish I brought some APFSDS specifically for people like that. Yo, I'm just gonna go the other way then, if that's how he wants to play things. Not a fan of that sound. That sounds insidious. I think it might be an STRV 103. Oh, it's a band cannon. <laughs> so I was kind of close. It's the same powertrain. No credit for partial answers, maggot. Yeah, I don't think we're winning this one. Just let him drive by. You don't see me. You don't see me. Are you? Uh, he, he, does he even care? Okay, that's very, very cool. How thick is this roof, dude? Goodness gracious. Well, I tried my best. I like using HE because I feel like it's a bit more challenging, but it does act very strangely sometimes. Oh, wait. <laughs> the poor ELC, man. Ooh. Um. Excuse me. Uh, Gaijin, how is that supposed to work? Can someone explain that to me, please? That is, uh, <laughs> exceedingly stupid, I think. You know, you'd think that, uh, hitting a tank right between the turret and the hole would, you know, like, uppercut its turret off, but I guess not. Um. Okay. Oh, good, I'm just being shot from every direction now. It's very cool. The game is broken! You know what? He's getting the APFSDS treatment. What's up? Uh, yep, I knew it. Yo! How has he not killed me yet? <laughs> I win. You didn't kill me. <laughs> so yeah, that's Object 120. It's a very fun vehicle, probably better if you use it in the intended manner, but as you can see, using high explosive actually works pretty well. Not as good as like the SPH or the band cannon, but still. Anyway, if you guys have suggestions for video topics, leave them in the comments, and I'll see you on the next one.